ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯಮಧ್ಯಮಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತಾ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರಾ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ್ಯ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡಕ್ಷನ್ ಟು ಫಸ್ಟ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ತ್ ಲೈನ್ ತದನಪೇಕ್ಷಸ್ಯಸ್ವಭಾವೇತುಭ್ಯ ನಾನಾತ್ಮ ವಿಷಯಮಜ್ಞಾನ ಸಂಭವತೀತಿ ಗ್ರಾಹ್ಯಂ ಶ್ರೀಶ್ವರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಡೀಲಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೂಲಾವಿದ್ಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಟರ್ನ್ ಬೈ ಕಮೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಬೈ ಸಚ್ಚಿದಾನಂದೇಂದ್ರ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಬೈ ನೇಮ್ ಕ್ಲೇಶಾಪಹಾರಿಣಿ ನೈಷ್ಕರ್ಮ ಸಿದ್ಧಿ ಅಲೋನ್ ಹಿ ನೇಮ್ ಡಿಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಕ್ಲೇಶಾಪಹಾರಿಣಿ ಕ್ಲೇಶ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಪೇನ್ ಆರ್ ದುಃಖ ಎನಿ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಕ್ಲೇಶ ಅಪಹಾರಿಣಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ರಿಮೂವರ್ so this naishkarmya siddhi is the remover of klesha or pain so the text name he kept is klesha abharini but when we look at this commentary it removes klesha or it gives klesha we do not know hmm? little um, complicated uh, uh, subject matter mula vidya but it is very important for every vedantic student has to know about moola vidya there is no way out <laughs> therefore we will uh, see this part slowly one by one once that um, introduction is over we will enter into the shloka only after one or two classes more so what is the topic here moola vidya is there atma anatma category sureshwara acharya did atma and anatma category so this anatma appearance the world body mind complex everything is appearing because of moola vidya so this moola vidya must exist somewhere moola vidya must have a location in some place where it is located where this fundamental ignorance is fundamental ignorance is located or we can say what is the locus of this fundamental ignorance in sanskrit we can say what is the ashraya of moola vidya ಮೂಲಾವಿದ್ಯಾ ಆಶ್ರಯ ಕಾನ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಆಶ್ರಯ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ದೆನ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟು ಈಸ್ ಫಂಡಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವಾಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಗ್ನರೆನ್ಸ್ it must have something i am ignorant of something means what is that ignorant of what that question comes therefore second question is uh, uh, what is the object of ignorance this moola vidya moola vidya uh, vishaya kaha is the second question for these two questions there are two possible answers first possible answer is is anatma is the ashraya for moola vidya is anatma is ashraya for moola vidya is anatma is the vishaya of moola vidya 
that means uh, is this anatma world body mind complex is the um, is the ashraya locus of mula vidya is this universe or mind or body whatever is anatma is it a locus for this fundamental ignorance number one question number one first two questions are what na? mula vidya ashraya kaha mula vidya vishaya kaha for that four possible steps we have to see is anatma is the locus of mula vidya or uh, and is the anatma is the vishaya of uh, ignorance mula vidya ignorance anatma can be the ignorance of mula vidya anatma can be the vishaya of mula vidya that is the two questions then next question third one is is atma is the ashraya of mula vidya is the self is uh, um, loke locus of uh, fundamental ignorance or is this uh, uh, atma is the vishaya of fundamental ignorance atma or anatma if you say anatma is the ashraya and what is the vishaya anatma only if you want to say or atma is the ashraya and atma is the vishaya if you want to say tell me these are all the four questions then first two questions we are seeing anatma is the vishaya anatma is the ashraya there are lot of problems it cannot be first of all anatma cannot be the ashraya locus of mula vidya anatma cannot be the vishaya of mula vidya so for that we saw four arguments so anatma is a product of mula vidya how it can be the ashraya of its own karanam anatma is the karyam ajnanam mula vidya or ajnanam is the cause so therefore a product cannot give an ashraya to its cause so prior to the product cause was there already so therefore the later which is going to come the anatma world ne body mind complex anatma cannot be the locus of the prayer one prayer one is mula gnana mula gnanam ar mula vidya is anadi beginningless time it is there mula vidya is anadi mula vidya we should not say mula vidya is nitya <laughs> nitya we cannot say mula vidya is eternal we should not say mula vidya is beginningless from beginningless time it is there we can say but we should not say mula vidya is uh, eternal whereas atma is also anadi but atma is eternal both are anadi only what are they mula vidya also anadi atma is also anadi atma is nitya whereas mula vidya is anadi but not um, Uh, nitya ha it is santa ha it has got an end santa ha that is the difference i already mentioned this in our other classes also in this uh, text also in the beginning so therefore this anatma cannot be the ashraya anatma cannot be the vishaya atma alone can be the ashraya atma alone can be the vishaya of mula gnanam so therefore now look into the portion the third argument is very important i said anadi mula vidya anadi atma before creation of anatma both were there before creation of this universe body mind complex 
बोथ मीन्स आत्मा एंड मूला विद्या बोथ वर देर देर फोर वॉट देर फोर नौ वी हाव टू सी फ्रम दिस लाइन तदनपेक्षा च तस्वभावत्वाद विदौट मूला विद्या अनात्मा कैन नेवर एक्जिस्ट अनात्मा दट हुच इज डिपेंडिंग अपॉन मूला विद्या हाउ इट कैन बी द लोकस इट कैन गिव एन एक्जिस्टेंस आर प्लेस शेल्टर टू दट मूला विद्या विदौट दिस मूला विद्या अनात्मा कैनाट एक्जिस्ट निस्वा निस्वभाव निस्वभावत्वात् निस्वभाव मीन्स इट बिकम नॉन एक्जिस्टेंट हु बिकम्स नॉन एक्जिस्टेंट अनात्मा विदौट हूम विदौट मूला ज्ञान अपू हियर वी नेक्स्ट लाइन आलसो एव हेतुभ्य बिकॉज ऑफ दीज रीजन्स एलोन अबो सेड रीजन्स सो तदनपेक्षा च इज द फोर्थ आर्ग्युमेंट फोर्थ आर्ग्युमेंट दीज फोर आर्ग्युमेंट्स वाट वी सा इन द लास्ट क्लास ई डोट वॉन्ट टू एक्सप्लेन अगेन इट गिवस मोर हेडेक सो यू हेव टू रिमेंबर दोज थ्री पॉइंट्स आलसो आर्ग्युमेंट्स अज्ञान अनपेक्षा विदौट तदनपेक्षा मीन अज्ञान अनपेक्षा तस् अनात्म निस्वभावत्वाद कैनाट एक्जिस्ट इट बिकम एबसेंट एव बै दीज फोर रीजन आर्ग्युमेंट्स एलोन एव हेतुभ्य बिका हेतु मीन्स रीजन बिकॉज ऑफ दीज रीजन एलोन हेतुभ्य बै दीज रीजन नात्म यू शुड नाट रीड न अनात्म यू हेव टू स्प्रीट प्रॉपर्ली नात्म यू शुड नाट रीड न अनात्म इवेन दो वैल रीडिंग सेंटेन्स ई हेव टू रीड नात्म बट वेन सीइंग द मीनिंग यू हेव टू स्प्लीट इट दट ईज दिस इज द फस्ट टापिक हेतुभ्य नात्म विषय अज्ञान देर फोर अनात्मा कैनाट बी द विषय आफ् अज्ञान मूलाज्ञान न संभवती ग्राह्यम सो दट न अनात्म अना यू हेव टू टेक् हियर न संभवती ग्राह्यम इट कैनाट बी पॉसिबल इट इज नाट पॉसिबल टू बी एज ए विषय फर् मूला विद्या फर् हूम फर् अनात्मा अनात्मा कैनाट बी द विषय सब्जेक्ट मैटर आफ् मूला विद्या आबजेक्ट आफ् मूला विद्या सो दट मीन देर कैनाट बी मूला विद्या फर् हुच अनात्मा ईज एंड आबजेक्ट दट ईज वे ही इज प्रसिंग तमिल आत्मा वै विषय कोंड मूला विद्या मुड़िया आत्मा वै मू विषय कोंड मूला विद्या मुड़िया अर्थम सो देर कैनाट बी मूला विद्या फर् हुच अनात्मा इज एन आबजेक्ट इध डबल नेगटिव दट मीन वाट अनात्मा कैनाट बी द विषय आफ् मूला विद्या अनात्मा इट्स ईज ए प्रोडक्ट देर फोर सो अपू हियर वी सा इन द लास्ट क्लास न ग्राह्यम संभवती ग्राह्यम ग्राह्यम मीन वन शुड अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस् वे नेक्स्ट ई विल रीड एवं तवत् न अनात्म अज्ञा नापी तदयम हेव टू एक्सप्लेन ओनली वन वन लाइन एवं तवत् एवं तवत् 
evam tavat means now he is consolidating the one and two first two topics um, what uh, anatma cannot be the ashraya is one topic anatma cannot be the vishaya is the second topic these two topics he is consolidating evam tavat because of these above said reasons evam tavat na ipdi irukkumbodu en artham first of first of firstly you want to say anatma cannot be the vishaya or ab, uh, ashraya uh, anatma cannot be the locus of ignorance for example if you take anatma is uh, take uh, as the ashraya what will happen how it cannot uh, be ashraya so rama is uh, ignorant when you say for example <coughs> rama is ignorant means what rama is the locus of ignorance rama is ignorant uh, means uh, rama is the locus of ignorance so the locus of ignorance is called ashraya locus of ignorance rama is the ashraya where is ignorance in rama is the example okay drishtanta where is ignorance ignorance is in rama therefore rama is ignorant okay ignorance in a, where it exists in whom it exists is called ignorant so rama is the ashraya of ajnanam means rama is ajnani correct rama is ashraya of ignorance means rama is ignorant correct or rama is ajnani so ajnanitvam is in whom now in rama ajnanitvam is in rama like that if you take ajnanam mula ajnanam is in atma is in atma suppose you see an atma is uh, ashraya of uh, mula vidya an atma must be ignorant okay an atma must be ignorant so in an atma ajnanitvam must be there must be there so an atma cannot be the ashraya of ignorance because ignorance can exist only in sentient entity ajnanitvam cannot exist in anatma vika jadatvat body is jadam therefore ignorance cannot exist in body mind is ignorant mind is jadam therefore ajnanam cannot exist in the mind also normally we say ajnanam belongs to the mind generally we say that but that is not correct that is not correct i will explain you why it is not correct because mind happens to be anatma mind happens to be jadam therefore it cannot be the ashraya mind is a product any entity in the world you take it cannot be the ashraya therefore anatma cannot be ignorant because jadatvat because it is inert so therefore anatmanah ajnanitvam na sambhavati anatmanah ajnanitvam na sambhavati that is the word you see evam tavat na anatmanah ajnanitvam understand now so ajnanitvam that ignorance cannot be there in anatma anatma cannot be ignorant if anatma has uh, uh, given the locus for ignorance anatma must be ignorant anatma cannot be ignorant because ignorance cannot uh, exist in anatma ajnanitvam na napi tad vishayam ajnanam mula vidya cannot be the vishaya of anatma also mula vidya cannot be the vishaya of anatma also 
This is the meaning of this line. One sentence, you see. Evam tavat anna anatmanaha ajnanitvam napi even tadvishayam. Tadvishayam means anatmanaha. Uh, vishayam uh, cannot be the ajnanam. Tadvishayam mula ajnanasya uh, vishayam cannot be ajnanam. Tadvishayam ajnanam na. Tadvishayam the anatmanaha uh, mula vidyaya vishayaha anatma it cannot be. Anatma cannot be the object of ignorance. Anatma cannot be the object of ignorance. That is the meaning. Uh, so therefore, the mind, why I said, I want to explain this mind, we feel ignorance um, belongs to the mind. Ignorance belongs to the mind. This is a very, very subtle point. Try to understand. Correct, Dhani, ignorance is in the mind only, we say. No, uh, mind being anatma, mind being anatma, mind can never be called as uh, ignorant. Mind being jadam, anatma, it can never be called ignorant. If you say mind is the locus of ignorance, mind is the ashraya of ignorance, ignorance is in the mind if you say, mind has to be ignorant. Ignorant na, uh, ajnanitvam must be there in the mind. Ajnanitvam is not there in the mind. Where it is, that we will see later. But not it is in the mind. Mula Vidya is not in the mind. Simple reason is mind is Jadam originally. Mind uh, cannot be ignorant, Jadatvat. Therefore, for example, I will give another example. Like a pot. Pot uh, holds water. We say, just like mind is the locus of ignorance, Casually we say, just like a pot hold the water. I showed this example previously also. Uh, pot holds the water. It looks correct. It seems correct only. What is wrong in that? Pot holds the water, correct only. But it is wrong. That statement is wrong. Why it is wrong? Because pot can never hold the water. Space alone, pot space, ghata akashas, pot space alone can hold the water. Where, from where we have come here, you see. Eh? Anatma cannot be the locus of uh, uh, Mula Vidya. Mind also comes under Anatma. Mind is the locus of Anatma, Mula Vidya. Mind, is the locus of Mula Vidya, you cannot say. How difficult to understand this. Therefore, I am giving the example. Pot cannot hold the water, really speaking, space in the pot holds the water. But we don't say that. That statement, we don't make use of it. Pot, space alone holding the water, we don't say. What we say? Pot holding the water. But that statement, if you analyze, it is wrong. Space in the pot alone holding the water, not the pot. Like that only, mind cannot hold that, cannot hold that ajna, mula vidya. Just like pot hold water, madri. space in the pot only hold, hold water, similarly, Atma in the mind, enclosed consciousness in the mind alone is the ashraya of Mula Vidya. We are going to arrive at that point only. So, mind cannot be the locus of Mula Vidya. Anatmanah Agnyanitvam 
न संभवत माइंड इज अनात्मा माइंड कैन नॉट बी द लोकस ऑफ इग्नोरेंस चैतन्यम एलोन इज द होल्डिंग द इग्नोरेंस हुच चैतन्यम दट चैतन्यम हुच इज एन क्लोज इन द माइंड लाइक स्पेस इन द पॉट स्पेस इन द पॉट होल्डिंग द वाटर सिमिलरली अदे मादरे consciousness in the mind holding or giving ashraya of um, mula vidya consciousness atma is the ashraya of mula vidya atma is the um, what locus of mula vidya because anatma cannot be the locus that is the idea now only he is going to give exclusion theory uh, so mind cannot be the locus ruled out now that is okay now next uh, line parisheshyat atmanah eva astu agnyanam tasya gnanosmi iti anubhava agnosmi iti anubhava darshanat this is third topic what is the first topic second topic anatma cannot be the ashraya of mula vidya is the first topic that we have ruled out then anatma cannot be the vishaya of mula vidya is the second topic that is also over now we are entering into the third topic that is atma alone parisheshan nyaya means exclusion theory exclusion theory they call by the law of exclusion by the law or theory of exclusion if anatma is excluded by first topic and second topic you have ex- excluded Uh, disregarded the anatma then what is left out parisheshan nyayat what is left out is atma atma alone is left out therefore atma alone be the ashraya and vishaya of mula vidya so anatma is ruled out okay what is anatma means you may get doubt that's why i give the mind example ओके माइंड कम्स अंडर अनात्मा मूला विद्या एक्जिस्ट वेर वर्ल्ड तेरे मूला विद्या एंकना इट कैन नाट एक्जिस्ट ओके पार्ट इज आलो अनात्मा कैन पार्ट इन पार्ट देर कैन बी एन इग्नोर पार्ट कैन से ऐम इग्नोर पार्ट कैन नाट से जड़वा अकॉर्ंग टू शास्त्र देर इज नो डिफरेंस बिटवी पार्ट अंड मैंड पार्ट ईज ग्रॉस मैटर mind is subtle matter that's all hmm. very very difficult to, to swallow but what to do that is the fact the only fact okay now aham agnyah asmi suppose a person says parisheshan nyayat atma alone is the third topic atma alone is the ashraya of mula vidya correct now this third topic if you take this way there are no problems there are no problems all are given what are all advantages are there if you take atma as the locus of mula vidya that uh, parisheshan nyaya is explaining by the law of exclusion ana atmanah eva atma alone um, agnanam आश्रय अस्त मूलाज्ञान तस्ट आत्म अज्ञान से दट मूला विद्यास्त अज्ञान आत्मन एव दट मीन आश्रय लेट द आत्मा बी द लोकस ऑफ मूला विद्या हिर् अज्ञान मीन मूला विद्या अस्त लेट इट बी आत्मा alone be the locus of mula vidya 
नाट अनात्मा तो दिस इज द थर्ड टॉपिक तस्य अग्न्यः अस्मि हाउ डू यू प्रूव आत्मा अलोन इज द आश्रय ऑफ मूला विद्या हाउ डू यू प्रूव व्हाट इज द प्रूफ फॉर यू फॉर दैट वी से अहम अग्न्यः अस्मि आई एम इग्नोरेंट एवरीवन सेस आई एम इग्नोरेंट आई एम इग्नोरेंट अहम अग्न्यः अस्मि तस्य तस्य मींस आत्मनः अग्न्यः अस्मि आई एम इग्नोरेंट ऑफ आत्मा आई एम इग्नोरेंट ऑफ आत्मा अस्मि इति अनुभव दर्शनात् प्रत्यक्ष प्रमाणो प्रत्यक्ष प्रमाणो हु इज प्रत्यक्ष प्रमाणो सिटिंग इन द क्लास नो ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स एवरीबॉडी इज हैविंग आत्मा अज्ञानम देयरफॉर इन दिस थर्ड टॉपिक सुरेश्वराचार्य एस्टाब्लिशिंग तस्य तस्य आत्मनः अज्ञः अहम अस्मि आई एम इग्नोरेंट ऑफ आत्मा ईवन सांख्य न्याय योग ऑल द्वैत विशिष्टाद्वैत ऑल फिलॉसफर्स एक्सेप्ट व्हाट जीवा इज नॉट बॉडी जीवा इज ट्रैवलिंग आफ्टर डेथ ही गेट्स मुक्ति ही इज हैविंग इग्नोरेंस वंस ही गेट नॉलेज ऑफ दैट आत्मा ही विल बी लिबरेटेड दिस इज व्हाट एवरी फिलॉसफर इज एक्सेप्टिंग there is no any contradiction in this all philosophers accept they are atma is having ignorance that means everybody says aham agnyah aham agnyah means here aham means what i am ignorant everyone says no tula vidya i am ignorant of tula vidya apara vidya tula vidya परा विद्या इज मूला विद्या इज अबाउट परा विद्या आई एम इग्नोरेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री आई एम इग्नोरेंट ऑफ फिजिक्स आई एम इग्नोरेंस ऑफ दिस दैट एंड ऑल यू से तूला विद्या सो इग्नोरेंस इज देयर आई एम आई एम इग्नोरेंट अनुभव प्रमाण एवरी वन एक्सपीरियंसेस दिस इज एक्सपीरियंशियल प्रमाण authentic everybody is having one ignorance or other therefore here aham agnyaha agnyaha asmi aham where is aham here asmi that is uttama purusha ek vachanam asti staha santi asdhato ho asmi when you take aham brahma asmi la asmi uttama purusha ek vachanam therefore asmi when it comes अहम इज अंडरस्टूड अहम अग्न्य अस्मी अग्न्य कैर इज अग्न तस्ो तस्मी तस्ोस्मी इज देर हाउ टू स्प्लीट इट तस्ज्ञ अहमस्मी हाउ यू ट्रांसलेट दिस वर्ड ऐ एम इग्नोरेंट ऑफ दैट आत्मा I am ignorant of that Atma. I am ignorant of Atma means what? Ignorance is where in Atma. Here I means Atma. I means uh, only Atma. I is equal to Atma. I am ignorant means I the Atma am ignorant. So Agnya Nitvam is there in Atma. Rama is ignorant. Ignorance is in Rama. So Agnyanitvam is there in Rama. Similarly, I am ignorant of Atma when I say I the Atma am ignorant. So ignorance of Atma where it is in me. In me it is there. Who am I? Atma. Therefore, in me the Atma ignorance is there. Therefore, I am ignorant. What is the pramanam? Anubhav pramanam. Every day we say, every minute, every hour we are talking. I am ignorant. I am ignorant. I am ignorant. What proof you require other than this? Are you following? So that atma, which is enclosed in body mind complex, 
I, the Atma, who is enclosed in the body-mind complex, like uh, space enclosed in the pot, space enclosed in the pot, water is uh, holding that space. So, space enclosed in the pot holding the water, like that, um, consciousness enclosed in the body, mind, Sukshma Shariram and Sthula Shariram is holding that Ajnanam. Holding means Ashraya of Ajnanam. So that Atma which is enclosed in this body, mind, complex, that I am ignorant when I say. When I say I am ignorant, I is referring to Atma. Therefore, Atma is ignorant. Atma is, is ignorant means Atma uh, giving the Ashraya to the ignorance. Ignorance is resting, locating in the Atma. I hope I am communicating. I am happy. I am happy. I am communicating. You are understanding. So, mind belongs to Jada. Jada mind cannot... Uh, can never hold ignorance. Uh, an Atma can never hold ignorance. Atma alone can hold the ignorance. Where is Atma? But Namak Atma Teriya, Narayi Perik Atma Teriya, then Nala, mind learn the Agnana Virikan Sholrom. What a tapu parango. Mind lay a pretty recommendum Agnanam. Mind one the Jadamapa, Adila Anatma, the Adila ignorance irkam mudia the. In pot, mic, fan, it is all Can you say ignorance is there? Can clip says I am ignorant? Can pot say I am ignorant? Because they are inert. So sentient consciousness principle only in all the three avasthas it is available. Okay, one line you see how much. So therefore, Parisashyat Atmanaha Eva Atmanaha Eva Astu Agnanam Tasya Agnaha Asmiyati Anubhava Darshanat Pratyaksha Pramanam Anubhava Darshanam is there. Now, Shruti Pramanam he gives Anubhava Pramanam Yukti Shruti Yukti Anubhava. These are the three Pramanams we make use of. Now, Anubhav Pramanam, I am ignorant, that is evident for everyone. Everyone has a treasure, property, and ignorance. Okay. Mula Vidya irke, Tula Vidya also is there, all ignorance is there. Then, what is the Shastra Pramanam? That also we have to see. That is given here in this line. Soham Bhagavu Mantra Videvasmi Na Atma Vitu Yitishrate This one line again takes time. So you see, Shastra Pramanam also is there. It is not just my uh, Anubhavam only. Narada also had the same problem. Many of you have attended my Chandogya Upanishad classes. Bhuma Vidya seventh chapter um, seventh chapter first section third mantra bhuma vidya narada approached sanat kumara bhagavan he bhagavan he addresses sanat kumara he bhagavan konja story ena romba dry a irukalle adanalai konja story ena shastra pramanam solradhukku or story narada story narada says uh, hey Bhagavan, I know everything, all Shastras. I have studied uh, Garuda Vidya, Naga Vidya, Sangeeta Vidya, Dhanur Vidya, what not, all 64 Kalas I have studied. But I am, uh, hum, uh, Dukham is there, Saro is there. Uh, Sochaha Bhagavan. Tarati Shokam Atma Vita, hmm, he says, I heard that Atma Vita will cross over uh, Dukkham, uh, Soham Bhagavaha Sochami, 
tarayatu maam he asked please help me to cross over this samsara i have studied everything but i do not know the atma apara vidya i know very much tula vidya hmm, apara vidya is there tula avidya na tula vishaya gnanam is there sangeeta vidya ಜ್ಯೋತಿಷ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಶಿಕ್ಷಾ ಕಲ್ಪಂ ವ್ಯಾಕರಣ ನಿರುಕ್ತ ಛಂದಸ್ ಜ್ಯೋತಿಷ ಎಲ್ಲಾ ಪಡಿಚಿ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಪಂಡಿಟ್ ವ್ಯಾಕರಣ ಎಕ್ಸೆಟ್ರಾ ಸೋ ಹಂ ಮೀನ್ ಸಹ ಅಹಂ ಸಚ್ ಮೀ ಸಚ್ ಮೀ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಗೋ ಆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆನ್ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ಹಿ ಎನ್ಯೂಮರೇಟ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ವಿದ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹಿ ನೋಸ್ ಹೌ ಮೆನಿ ಸೈನ್ಸಸ್ ಹಿ ನೋಸ್ ನಾರದ ಟೆಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಎನ್ ಅವತಾರ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಕಂದ ಸ್ಕಂದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸೊ ಸ ಸ್ಕಂದ ಅದಿ ಸುಬ್ರಹ್ಮಣ್ಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಸವತಾರ ಎಲೋನ್ ಈಸ್ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರ ಟು ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರ ನಾರದ ಆಸ್ಕ್ಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಸಹ ಅಹಂ ಸಚ್ ಎ ನಾಲೆಡ್ಜಬಲ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಸೈನ್ಸಸ್ ಹೇ ಭಗವನ್ ಓ ಸನತ್ ಕುಮಾರ ಮಂತ್ರ ವಿದೇವಾಸ್ಮಿ ಐ ನೋ ಆಲ್ ಮಂತ್ರಾಸ್ ಮಂತ್ರ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ತಂತ್ರ ವಿದ್ಯಾ ಆಲ್ ಮಂತ್ರಾಸ್ ಐ ನೋ ಹೌ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದೆಮ್ ನ ಆತ್ಮವಿತ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ನೋವರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆತ್ಮ ಐ ಆಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೈಸ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಅದರ್ ವೈಸ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿಗಾರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಆತ್ಮ ನ ಆತ್ಮವಿತ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಕಾಮಾಸ್ ಸೋಹಂ ಭಗವ ಮಂತ್ರ ವಿದೇವಾಸ್ಮೀ ನ ಆತ್ಮವಿತ್ ಇನ್ವರ್ಟೆಡ್ ಕಾಮಾಸ್ ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಛಂದೋಗ್ಯೋಪನಿಷತ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಥ್ರೀ ಇತಿ ಶ್ರುತೇ ಸಾಮವೇದೀಯ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಛಾಂದೋಗ್ಯೇ ಸಪ್ತಮ ಅಧ್ಯಾಯ ಭೂಮವಿದ್ಯಾಂ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಸೇಡ್ ಸುರೇಶ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ಪ್ರಮಾಣ ನ ಆತ್ಮನ ಅಜ್ಞಾನ ಸ್ವರೂಪ ತೈತನ್ಯ ಆಶ್ರಯ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಾತ್ರ ಸ್ವಾಭಾ ಸ್ವಾಭಾವ್ಯಾತ್ ಅತಿಶಯ ಅತಿಶಯ ಸಂಭವತಿ ಜ್ಞಾನ ವಿಪರಿಲೋಪ these are all very very loaded sentences very important very loaded very important but very difficult to understand okay let us see this sentence now see one one sentence uh, if you read understand only it is very clear that is why i am trying like this now in all three avasthas jagrat avastha ಸ್ವಪ್ನ ಅವಸ್ಥ ಸುಷುಪ್ತಿ ಅವಸ್ಥ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಥೂಲ ಶರೀರಂ ಸೂಕ್ಷ್ಮ ಶರೀರಂ ಕಾರಣ ಶರೀರಂ ತ್ರೀ ಶರೀರಂ ಸಾರ್ ದೇರ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ತ್ರೀ ಬಾಡೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಲೊಕೇಟೆಡ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ ಗ್ರಾಸ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಸಟಿಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಾಸಲ್ ಬಾಡಿ ದೆ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಕಾನ್ಷಿಯಸ್ನೆಸ್ therefore even in pralaya uh, jagrat avastha swapna susupti are only in srishti kala time we are having what about in pralaya pralaya mula vidya is anadi you said it is there from beginningless time in pralaya also karana <coughs> sorry in pralaya also karana shariram is there in pralaya also karana shariram is there mula vidya located in the consciousness <coughs> mula vidya is located in the consciousness which consciousness is enclosed in the karana shariram kan <coughs> consciousness enclosed in the karana shariram consciousness enclosed in the karana shariram in that consciousness mula vidya is locate loca- <coughs> sorry located hmm? 
in that karana shariram which karana shariram is located uh, consciousness located in the karana shariram in that karana shariram therefore con at mula vidya is located in consciousness okay mula vidya is located in the consciousness consciousness is enclosed in <coughs> karana shariram really speaking in fact karana shariram is another name for mula vidya karana shariram is alone is called mula vidya karana shariram itself is called <coughs> mula vidya where we, we saw this what is the proof in tattva bodha karana shariram kim karana shariram kim when we were studying uh, in tattva bodha also we saw this anadi avidya roopam satsvarupa agnyanam edasti tat karana shariram agnyanam asti avidya roopam karana shariram that means avidya mula vidya and karana shariram are not different different names okay therefore it is um, in fact <coughs> what is the proof na in sleep we say in sleep which is sharira avastha sushupti avastha which shariram is active karana shariram karana shariram is active sthula shariram is not active jagrata avastha only sthula shariram is active in uh, swapna sushma shariram is active sthula shariram is not active in sushupti neither in neither sthula shariram nor sushma shariram are active but which shariram is active in a karana shariram that is why i slept well i do not know anything that vritti take place in this called karana vritti sukshma vritti karana vritti in karana shariram karana vritti takes place that vritti is this thought i slept well i do not know anything after waking up we say i did not know anything yesterday night i did not know anything now after waking he is telling i slept well i did not know anything na kinchit avedisham na kinchit avedisham agnyanam is there where it is karana shariram sakshi is the witnesser of that consciousness is the witness of that karana vritti karana vritti which is registered in the form of karana vritti after waking up you make use of that sthula vagindriyam and mind you say i did not know anything namak thookanda varu thungu avada what is happening i did not know anything how who is making this statement how this statement is uh, registered if you study shastra only you come to know not by any other way hmm? therefore uh, mula vidya <coughs> is there in sleep also where is it is located in consciousness that is why sakshi pratyaksha in karana shariram it is there that is mula vidya is located in consciousness in sushupti in sushupti pragnya pragnya karana sharira abhimani pragnya is there that atma which is enclosed in the karana shariram at the time of sushupti that time this person do not know anything agnyanam is there that means mula vidya is located in the karana shariram uchi karana shariram in the conscious enclosed uh, consciousness uh, consciousness is enclosed in the karana shariram that consciousness is the witnesser of that ignorance so where is that ignorance mula vidya is in consciousness atma alone this is the best proof anubhava prana pramana sushupti hmm? 
therefore therefore what look into the line now nacha atmanah agnana swarupata in atma there is no agnanam anatma is of the nature of ignorance anatma is of the nature of ignorance therefore it cannot be the locus of ignorance anatma itself is uh, ignorance how can it uh, use locus to ignorance therefore that is not possible therefore atma is not of the nature of ignorance that's what he says here atmanah agnana swarupata na atmanah agnana swarupata na that means what atma is not of the nature of ignorance and repeat once again important sentence atmanah agnana swarupata na asti means atma is not of the nature of ignorance why he gives the reason tasya chaitanya matra swabhavyat swabhavyat means atma nature atma is of the nature of knowledge atma nature is knowledge satyam gnanam anantam brahma you have to remember okay swabhavyat its nature is its nature is <coughs> knowledge its nature is knowledge therefore what therefore atma is the ashraya of mula um, vidya swabhavyat atishayasche sambhavati second fallacy negation in anatma ko atishayah he said there what is the use of uh, purpose of uh, uh, giving anatma giving locus to the mula vidya anatma is also agnyanam swarupa ha mula vidya also agnyanam kim atishayah ko atishayah asti said no here atishayasche sambhavati so that fallacy is negated here second fallacy negation gnana viparilopaha gnana viparilopaha means uh, uh, that uh, next point if uh, ignorance location located in uh, jada anatma it cannot uh, generate doubt or error anything if ignorance is in anatma if it cannot generate neither doubt or knowledge or error or anything any this part can have ignorance can part have doubt can part uh, does any erroneous perception it has no jadatvat so doubt is not possible error is not possible knowledge is also not possible where doubt is possible there only knowledge is possible so doubt knowledge error nothing is possible in jada vastu anatma is jadam mind is also cannot have error doubt or anything but consciousness available in the mind can have doubt error hmm? ignorance knowledge also therefore uh, ignorance is possible in atma error is possible in atma and um, uh, error removing is also possible in atma gnanam is also possible in atma doubt can be solved in atma in anatma doubt cannot be solved and anatma is ignorance it is of the nature of ignorance it cannot solve the doubt atishayascha means ignorance in atma can bring three fold or two fold consequences agnana gnana viparilopaha and gnana prapti and gnana viparilopaha means there is an obstruction to gnanam is possible there is no atma agnanam is there viparilopaha gnana viparilopaha 
वन कॉन्सिक्वें देन ज्ञान प्राप्ति सिंस ज्ञान विपरी लोप वेर इज इग्नोर देर ओनली नॉलेज हेज टू टेक् प्लेस वाट इग्नोर यू हाव अबउट वाट दट नॉलेज यू हाव टू गेट आत्म विषय ज्ञान प्राप्ति दैट आत्मा देर इज इग्नोर इन आत्मा अबउट आत्मा देर फोर नॉलेज मस्ट कम अबउट आत्मा इन आत्मा हूच आत्मा इज लोकेटेड इन द मैंड सिंस वि डू नाट नो द मैंड वेन वी आर् अज्ञान स्टेज दट टाइम वि से मै अज्ञान इज इन द मैंड दिस इज वेरी वेरी न्यू टापिक वि हव नेवर सीन इन एनी अदर प्रकरण ग्रंथ बट यूनिकली हियर ओनली वि आर् सी so if anatma is the locus what will happen and what knowledge will come anatma is the locus of mula vidya ana ham anatma asmi only knowledge will come suppose anatma aham asmi adik anatma aham se gnanam venu maadi and mar gnan theva illaye anatma body i am thinking as agnyani i am thinking i am mind body etc etc already it is there i need not get any new uh, anatma knowledge i require atma gnan anatma aham asmi no moksha uh, no benefit also shoka will not go away because i am as associated uh, i am uh, identifying with anatma only i have shoka my trub my struggle is to be free from anatma body mind complex identification therefore in atma alone uh, this ignorance is there mind acquire knowledge which mind is having consciousness inside available consciousness mind enclosed consciousness mind enclosed consciousness that consciousness alone is the ashraya of mula vidya therefore mula vidya is there therefore i have to get what atma gnanam by that i'll get moksha gnana vipari lopah absence of gnanam atma vidya that is why there mula vidya is there sitting by studying shastra from the guru that mula vidya will be removed next line gnana praptischa sambhavata sambhavah tasya gnana karitvat na cha agnana karyatvam kutasthatma atmasya <coughs> आत्मस्वभाव्यापेक्ष आत्म स्वतः स्वूपसिद्धे युक्त युक्त सॉरी फुल स्टॉप अप टू हियर दिस इज द फिफ्थ इंपॉर्टेंट um solution solution like our uh, fifth point uh, that is another fallacy is removed what is that fallacy fourth point second fallacy is removed uh, atishaya sambhavati gnana praptischa this is the third fallacy negation gnana praptischa संभव इन अनात्मा ज्ञान प्राप्ति इज नॉट पॉसिबल बिकॉज जडम ज्ञानम इज पॉसिबल ओनली इन सेंशियंट एंटिटी सिंस अनात्मा मैंड बॉडी कॉम्प्लेक्स आर एनी ऑब्जेक्ट इज जडम ज्ञानम के नॉट टेक् प्लेस इन दैट ज्ञान प्राप्ति संभव इन आत्मा इफ आत्मा इज द लोकस ऑफ मूला विद्या in that atma gnana prapti he sambhava gnana prapti is possible tasya gnana karitvam tasya gnana karitvam means that 
न अज्ञान कार्य मैंड एक्वायर नॉलेज आत्मा इज एटर्नल इग्नोरेंस इज रिमूवेबल रिमूवेबल इवन दो इट इज अनादि तस्ये ज्ञान कारित्वम तस्ये मीन्स आत्मा ना हाँ इन आत्मा since its nature is jnana swarupam mula vidya can be negated jnana karitvat it can generate knowledge knowledge can be generated in atma not in anatma nacha agnana karyatvam nacha agnana karyatvam means ignorance um, Ignorance, that is, uh, uh, it is not anatma, nacha uh, agnana karyatvam kutasthatma svabhavyat. Atma is shuddha buddha mukta svarupaha. Hmm? It is not a product of ignorance. Atma is not a product of ignorance. That is the word meaning. Na agnana karyatvam means... Uh, Atma is not a product of ignorance like Anatma. Atma is not a product. It is not like Anatma. Okay. I will explain more details about this Ajnana Karyatvam Na. Atma is Kutastha Swarupaha, Jnana Swarupaha. So it is not a product of ignorance. Anatma is a product of ignorance. That is the meaning. Whole sentence we will see in the next class. Om Pur Namada Pur Namidam Pur Nath Pur Namudachate Pur Nasya Pur Namadaya Pur Namibhava Sishyate Om Shanti 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 हरि ही ओम श्री गुरु भ्यो नमः हरि ही ओम